whoa, 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 where are you going? Olivia, we gotta go. What did Jones say? Olivia. I need to do this. There's no other way. If you stay here, you are going to die. I'm not doing this with you, Olivia. You're out of your mind. You did it. What was that? How did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. You okay? I didn't do anything. With those lights. He planned it, Jones. It was all just a mind game. How do you plan it? Plan what? They were programmed to turn off when the countdown ended. Maybe, but he couldn't have known when you were going to arrive. He couldn't have known the timing on that. Well, that's what he did. Look, I'm the last person to subscribe to this kind of stuff, but you were in the zone out there tonight, Olivia. The way you stared down that light box was like nothing I've ever seen before. It wasn't me. Fine, then let me play devil's advocate. Why did Jones choose you at all? Because of your father. He wanted to meet your father. He wanted to meet the man who designed the device that let him escape from prison. And you think that's what all this was about? Okay. Fine. Look, all I know is I didn't die tonight, so I'm pretty much willing to accept any explanation you want to give. You want to go get a drink? Or five? I've seen you with a whiskey bottle. <laughs> Jones was just transferred to Boston General, so I have a few questions for him. It's my last chance. What exactly do you think you're doing? I made her do it, Peter. You run around no sleep. And if I'm right, caffeine pills. I faked my way through grad school, remember? You need to calm down. You're not thinking straight and you're not making any sense. Peter. What is happening to me? I kept my tuxedo in the hope that one day I would have a son who would wear it. You could wear it on your wedding day. Yeah. You know, Walter, tuxedo styles change. Oh, not since purple never goes out of style. And the day may come sooner than you think. Do you think she'll call me dad? Who? Agent Dunham. <laughs> My guess would be no. Don't look at me like that. She's just what you need. Someone who can see right through you. Agent Dunham, don't you look lovely today? Doesn't she look lovely, Peter? You look lovely, Agent Dunham. Uh, uh, Dr. Walter Bishop, how do you do? Who's a bat? It's either that or flying lessons. I figured if I could shut down all the non-essential functions, I could make these things run faster. It's too late. 
I failed. I failed and I'm supposed to be the one who can stop things like this. I've never met anyone who can do the things that you do. Walter. The Emmy is going to transport the body back to the lab. He told Walter he could ride along. What? That's not. I, I think I know what it is that's bothering you. Why it is you've been so awkward around me for the last couple weeks. Okay. That trip down to Jacksonville was crazy. We, we were both exhausted, we were both emotional, and, you know, if something had happened between the two of us, I mean, if we had actually kissed, then we'd have to deal with that, but we didn't. No, no, we didn't. Right. You know, this past year, this is the longest I've ever stayed in one place. So this thing that we have, you, me, Walter, this, this odd little family unit that we've got going, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. I don't either. Okay, so we're good then, right? Yeah. You didn't call Broyles. I've got you on speed dial. Really? I'm number one in Olivia Dunham's speed dial? Well, no, but I didn't think that Rachel or Mr. Iyer from the Indian takeout would be much use. <laughs> Peter. to me. He told me that I could heal the problems of this world. My father told me that all the problems out there started when Walter came over and stole me. And that now that I was back, I was going to be able to help to fix it. But his bringing me back was never about fixing this universe. It was about destroying yours. I'm sorry. How long did you know? A few weeks. Peter, don't I... Don't worry. I'm not gonna let him do this. Well, I don't think that he can. I mean, not without you. Peter? You don't belong here. No, I don't belong here. But I don't belong there either. Yes, you do. I have thought of a hundred reasons why you should come back. Fight the shapeshifters to take care of Walter too, to save the world. But in the end, you have to come back.
because you belong with me. today, right? Because you didn't know the protocol. If you'd stop for oxygen, you'd be dead right now. But you did something that he couldn't factor in. You kept running. You know why you did that. It's the same reason you thought you saw Walter in the hospital. It's the same reason you think you're seeing me now. You're not from this world, Olivia. You're not her. You're not real. Real is just a matter of perception. I am here. And I'm the part of you that you have to hold on to. You can't forget who you are, Olivia. You can't forget where you're from. You can't forget this. You know why you let him go, don't you? It's because you can understand what he's going through. Trapped in that amber? It's just like you're trapped over here. The only difference is nobody's going to save you. Only you can save yourself. You listen to me about the case. I don't understand why you won't listen to me about this. Why do you refuse to believe who you are? Why do you want to deny the truth about yourself? You, you can't prove anything that you're saying. But I know things. You're in my head. Exactly. Which means you know things, too. Things about the other side. Things you couldn't possibly know unless you'd been there. Unless you were from there. Like what? On the other side, the Twin Towers have fallen. On the other side, your sister Rachel is still alive. She lives in Chicago. Her husband took a job there. They live at 1934 See, Sherman Way. Because On Rachel the other hates side, Chicago. your beautiful niece Ella is alive. She was born, and it's her birthday today. She turns seven. There's no way to prove it. Yes, there is. I'm sorry, Olivia. Don't apologize. You were the only thing that got me through. If it wasn't for you, I would never have made it back. 